Donald Sparks was a good ball player, but he didn't make his mark on the court. He made it from the sidelines. His skill was capturing the talent of others as one of the first African-American photographers to do assignments on a national basis. Donald Sparks worked freelance for Sport, Ebony, and Jet. And many of his images are in the baseball and basketball halls of fame. A stellar career that goes somewhat unnoticed by his sons growing up in Hyde Park. We just very much took it for granted. It wasn't until we got older and looking at it again through the historical perspective that we kind of realized how unique and special these photographs were. They now want the world to know just how good their dad really was. Almost any of the football players I would shot have shot with this. He's taking a picture and winding the camera and holding it steady at 300 feet, where now a lot of that's automated. But he was doing it the old way with a heavy piece of equipment. And I think that speaks to a different type of a skill. This was at the end of a dugout, and he did this little thing with his hands. Sure, photography is about anticipation and composition, but one key to spark success, relationships. Once you take a picture, they kind of don't forget you. They may not keep your name, but they just don't uh, forget where they first ran into you. Ali was really kind of easy. He was a neighbor. He lived uh, probably a block from where we live. If you were photographing them, they all became your friend. You know, Dad talked about the relationship and how people would remember that relationship with the photographer. And they all see him, and he's, a, he's their friend. This year, I think we're going to have a good ball club. All Players like Billy Williams would come by the house and drop off memorabilia. That would end up in a Sandlot game. Dad got a ball signed by all the Cubs, and it was early 60s. It probably even had Ken Hubs on the ball. And we ran out of balls, and we actually used that ball to play. And, uh, you know, now, you know, that's, uh, that would have been such a great treasure. But for Don Sparks, it's never been about money. It's about the art and relationships. He'd often run into old friends at sports conventions. He uncovered a photo of Ernie Banks and his father from 1964. Dad gives him this photo of Ernie with his father, and Ernie just was almost to tears and got up and they just embraced. And everybody's looking, what's going on there? About a year later that Ernie Banks passed, and I'm so happy that we were able to get that to him before he passed, because he really loved it. Sparks is shooting at a time when African-American players had only recently gained acceptance in the white leagues. Black ball players were in their infancy. I mean, they weren't allowed into the major leagues uh, that much earlier than when you started shooting. You also were a black photographer. Yeah, I thought that was the coolest thing. And I wasn't really making a distinction at that point of races, but just that, wow, these are famous people. Oh, Dad, do you, do you remember this photo? Oh, I remember. For years, the son saw photos and notes scattered around the home, negatives stacked in shoe boxes, not just of athletes, but of civil rights leaders, artists, musicians. Don Sparks captures a moment, but reveals life lessons that transcend time and photography, patience, hard work, and a friendly disposition. He did not make a big deal about what he was doing, his photos in magazines, uh, his appearances. I'm sorry that we didn't 
take advantage of this knowledge sooner because we could have, uh, I think, done a lot with this work, but we're doing everything that we can now to get this out there. We tried to get this to people that will appreciate it. Coming up on Backstory, we'll look at more of Donald Spark's amazing photographs and a marketing stunt that took over a small town in America's heartland.